1041 is our time right now, and from Walt Clyde Frazier to Russell Westbrook, Pulitzer Prize winning writer Mitchell S. Jackson is chronicling the relationship between style and basketball in his new mm. book called Fly, the Big Book of Basketball Fashion. It's amazing. It features photos and analysis of how the civil rights movement, the infamous dress code, even Instagram, have all played a role in the evolution of NBA players' modes of expression. So this morning, Mitchell's here to talk about his book and a whole lot yes. more. It's good to see you. And you are here on the right day with the right person yeah. uh, because you have Fox 5, DC Fox 5, very own Holly Morris oh, as yes. far as fashion experts yeah. here. Stop yeah. it. I He's, see you. I yes. see you. She She's already gave you, gave you the up. thumbs yeah. up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I did give him a thumbs up because I, I love your knit pants, Thank but I'm a knitter. You. But uh, your whole look and vibe is just awesome. I appreciate it. You know, I found it surprising that there was no book on NBA fashion yeah. because I, I think of NBA players mm -hmm. as, yeah. as being fashionable, but you really found a niche. Yeah, Tell me about yeah. how the book it's, came to be. It's surprising that it wasn't a, another book. There, there was a book that um, Walt Clyde Frazier did years ago, but it was about him and right. more like a lifestyle book. But yeah, I think we're in the era of um, really fashion across professional sports, and I think the NBA is the forerunner in that. And so, you know, who better to start with than the one that kind of kicked it off? Now, now tell me, so as far as your most fashionable or iconic era, what yeah. you consider uh, the pioneers, you know, the 90s, the, yeah. the Wild West of the casual, I don't know what was going on in the, in the yeah. 2000s, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's going on yeah. now currently, yeah. you know, the, the, the in, I'd call it the in vogue era maybe. Yeah. Uh, so what, what would you say is your most, uh, the iconic era as far as fashion? I would say uh, what I call it in the, um, in the book is, is like the, the era of the 1970s, because to mm. me, like if you look at the NBA when it started, it started in 49 up and through really past the civil rights movement, mm -hmm they were all wearing like suits, you know, it looked mm -hmm. like they were all going to business business casual. Yep. Uh, but then there was an era of flamboyance that happened in the 1970s mm. uh, that I kind of mark with like black exploitation, but really like the end of civil rights and this kind of newfound freedom. So I think those guys, Walt Clyde Frazier, you know, Wilt Chamberlain, those guys really kicked <laughs> off NBA fashion, made us pay attention to it. Well, you, you alluded to the, the civil rights movement, and but this really is... Uh, more than just uh, you know looking at these amazing outfits that these guys are wearing yeah. you really talk about impactful moments yes. right so talk a little bit about in terms of the dress code the infamous yeah. dress code or yeah. even what instagram has meant for it all yeah i think to look at any error which is the book is divided into errors i think you have to look at what came before it so if we're thinking about the dress code, I think we have to contextualize that with Michael Jordan, which is the era before that, right? And that he was a consummate pitch man, right? He mm -hmm. wore his suits. He didn't never said the wrong thing. He had that infamous quote about Republicans buy sneakers too, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're coming from that era. And then we get Allen Iverson, who was almost the antithesis of mm -hmm. Michael Jordan. And he's the most popular player in the league at that time. Mm -hmm. So, and he's also hip hop, the, right? The baggy jeans, the yeah. do-rag, yeah. The yeah. necklaces. Exactly, <laughs> right. Because I like so, the accoutrement section. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the girl, so, I like which, an accoutrement yeah. which, which to myself. Which takes us to this era, right? right. And so yeah. I guess, uh, you call, maybe in the book, you call them a like high risk. Yeah. Fashion takers, yeah, you guys yeah. like Russell, yeah. uh, Russell Westbrook, you guys like Kyle Kuzma, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, so, so is, is, is that the <laughs> label we really want to go with high risk, or we just? I, I like to look at them as, come on, man, yeah, because well, some of these fits now, yeah. I mean, I think for me, if you if you're fashionable, you you got to push past whatever you think boundaries mm -hmm. are, mm -hmm. right? Like, okay. and that means you're going to make you're gonna you're gonna make decisions that other people don't recognize they're not ahead of it and I mean think if we think about Kuzma we got to take it all the way back to Dennis Rodman yes right in the era of Dennis Rodman people didn't really know what he was doing they didn't recognize it as fashionable mm -hmm. and now here we are there's a whole bunch of Rodmans in the league now right so mm -hmm. I think guys like Kuzma guys like Jordan Clarkson D'Angelo Russell they are pushing boundaries but you got to push boundaries in order to be fashionable well you got to push boundaries I mean would you say Rodman's the biggest risk taker uh, of his era. Of his era, yes. right? Yes. And there's been, there, there's been so. different ones along the way. Yeah. But there also has to be this ability to pull it off. Because while some of these outfits, yeah. like you see this player wear whatever, and you're like, wow, that is him. Yeah. Another person could wear it, and you'd yes. be like, that jokester, what's going on? Yes. <laughs> right? Yes. How yeah. much is the actual fashion? How much is the whole aura in the package? Mm, I think in order to pull off any fashion, it has to be representative of your identity and who you believe yourself to be out in the world and I think if you don't then you feel uncomfortable in that right if you're mm -hmm. wearing something that doesn't represent it you so I think Rodman yeah. if you think about his evolution as a player look at him coming in he had a very short haircut really conservative and he was 
evolving as a person and a player. And then when he gets to be a star on the Pistons and the Bulls, then we see Rodman dyeing his hair and doing all this stuff. So for me, that was a representation of who Rodman was at mm -hmm. that particular moment in his life. So this book with the NBA players, uh, can we expect to follow up with uh, NFL players? <laughs> uh, I think someone will write okay. that book. Okay, so, uh, someone, but, yeah. but not you. It, it, it won't be me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this book uh, written by him, the man sitting right here, is yeah. Fly, the big book of basketball fashion. You definitely need to get it. It's a, it, it's, it's a great coffee table book, but it's yes. also a great read, Thank too. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh,